Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I found some amazing new AI design tools, UX design resources, assets, UI kits, and so much more this month. It's incredible. Some of these are actually mind blowing, so let's get into it. Okay, so the first one is called Lottie Lab Beta. This is a tool for people who love motion, animation, interactions in their UI designs. A complete interaction tool where you can import from your favorite tools like Figma. So if you have an icon in Figma you want to animate, you can import that from Figma and this will help you animate icons, illustrations with either pre-built assets and animations or you can build it on your own with a really nice keyframe animation kind of interface. And it has an inbuilt design tool, so you don't have to design in Figma, then import here. You can even design directly in this tool and then animate it or make it interactive as you wish. At the end of the day, you can export in the format of Lottie, etc. so that you can send it to your developers and developer can easily implement it in the website. So it's both designer and developer friendly. They have a lot of cool new things that they've introduced in their new updates as well. That, me that makes it much more powerful, much more interactive and much more team related as well. So your teams can use this too. Okay, so recently a lot of tools are coming that are trying to compete with Figma. One of these is called Motif and Motif basically is Figma, they have their old Figma editor design like we all loved, but it also has a lot of cool AI features, including AI magic box, which creates AI assets wherever you want them to create in a certain page. You even have a UI generator, so it can generate an entire set of UI designs, multiple screens using AI prompts. There are also things like converting your current designs into a proper design system using artificial intelligence and also a tool which is something like an AI repeater. So if you create multiple cards, it will automatically detect what the content in the first card was. Based on that content, it will fill out all the other cards or all the other duplicate elements as well. So you'll have a complete UI where everything is already set for you. All the content is ready for you while you are duplicating. I have a complete review on this and how it's trying to compete with Figma by providing very low pricings for a lot of different features. Okay, designing in Figma and being able to use that design in augmented reality or virtual reality is gonna be insane. There's this tool called Shapes XR, which is very recently brought a official Figma plugin. So what it allows you to do is import any assets or frames from inside Figma, try it out or you or create an interactive kind of session inside an augmented reality or virtual reality headset. This can of course be done without a headset. You can do it on your phones as well. To take your Figma designs and edit it inside an augmented reality environment to create these AR experiences for users, etc. What's cool about this is that it instantly syncs with your Figma. So if you've made some edits or changes in Figma, instantly shows up in your augmented or virtual reality experience. That makes it very seamless. All the other tools and plugins don't do that exactly. So this course then has its competition beat. If you want me to make a tutorial on something like this, please let me know in the comments. I'll be more than happy to do this. In fact, I have an idea to make a video on this. So the more the comments I get, the more excited I'm gonna get as well. This next one is a very hacky tool, but I love hacky tools. This is called Font Interceptor. And Font Interceptor detects the fonts that is coming into a website or loading onto a website. And it allows you to download those font files directly. So no more font ninja or font detection anymore. So for example, you have a website called twitter.com or x.com, whatever you want. You, you type it in, you say intercept. Within a few seconds, it will not only detect the fonts that they have, but also allow you to download those fonts in the proper format. So for Twitter, we have chirp extended heavy web dot w o f f 2 which is again a font format. You can then install it onto your computers or Macs and use it inside Figma as well. Please be sure that not all of these fonts are available to the public. Please don't use it for your clients or for a public application. Use it for personal use only and nothing else because anything above that might not be very legal. Again, what a powerful tool, man. As a designer, I wish this was there earlier. Talking about fonts and web, this next tool I am in awe with because it's called the Web Interactions Gallery. It collects the best websites with the most insane interactions and animations from all across the world. So whether it's a known website or an unknown website, you'll be able to see all these amazing animations and interactions that they have used. And they've very neatly kind of organized it in the form of horizontal scroll, 
preloader animations, hover interactions, etc. Even on their website, you'll be able to kind of slide through all of these preloaders, sliders, footer reveals, everything. And you'll be able to check out all these animations collected here. Okay, I'm generally not excited about Figma plugins, especially, but boy, is this one of the most beautiful plugin I've ever seen. It's called Curve Text. And what it allows you to do is just curve out text on any path. So it could be a little line that you've drawn out. It will automatically curve out text in a very unique and stylized format or manner. You can even increase degree size, change font from inside the plugin, be able to quickly iterate on your designs. This is super cool for graphic designers and even people who just want to interpret something like this on their websites. By far one of the best plugins I've seen, most well-polished plugins on Figma till date. New month, new AI tool for UX designers and researchers. This is called octopus.do. Oct octopus.do allows you to either create a complete website wireframe as well as a sitemap for absolutely free. So you'll be able to type in anything. For example, pin store for dog treats. Based on this prompt, as you can see in real time, live, it's creating a sitemap for us. And based on this sitemap, you can either edit each page, go and edit each uh, of these sections on this wonderful canvas that they've created. You can even uh, change the color of each of these sections just to organize it. And you can add more arrows, etc. But the magic begins when you are able to change anything into a nice little wireframe like this. Each of these, as you can see, is sort of this basic wireframe that you can then export and make a fire final wireframe with this. Each section is matched to a wireframe so that, as you can see, our location has this little ma map section here. You can even customize this entire canvas, dark mode, light mode, whatever you like, and for mobile or web. I think this is really helpful. A lot of these features are actually paid, but for the ones which are free, I think a huge thumbs up from me. Reminds me of Relume, but a free version of Relume, if you get what I mean. Okay, so a lot of typography stuff today. This is called Free Faces, and boy, this is one of the most beautiful websites I've seen till date. This is like Google Fonts, but a beautiful version of Google Fonts, if you know what I mean. You choose any style that you like, for example, a serif font, and it will show it to you with different backgrounds and assets at the back, as you can see, it looks beautiful. Each font, they are telling you what it's all about, if there are multiple styles to it, if there's a wearable font or not, for personal use or for public use, etc. So you'll get all that information right here. Click on any one of these, you can see all the details of it and you can just quickly click on the link and get the typeface from the original website. I love how it's just full screen and on a nice laptop or a phone, this would look really good. Talk about beautiful websites. Research by UNMS is a Notion alternative, but for creative researchers, etc. Look at how beautiful the interface looks with this nice sepia background and this nice color scheme that is going on. You can customize it, of course. It's still in beta, but you can do a lot of cool stuff like an open canvas of research. So you can just place your research material all over the screen. You can do your brainstorming sessions here. This could be the next notion, but for creatives, designers, researchers, etc. All right, guys, that was it for today's video. I'm super excited about some of these. Which one was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to know your favorite design tools. I'll see you next week, same time, same place. Until next time, take care. God bless.